Jason, a city trader, sits down at his 2D, 3D workstation on the trading floor. We had this client in this project that was not about 3D problem solving at all. It had nothing to do with physical environments or spaces, but it was about data. This is what trading looked like about 20 years ago, mm -hmm. an open outcry trading yeah, so pit. What people picture it as. Exactly. Yes, it actually looks like yeah. this. And it's just this overload of 2D information. We were pretty confident that HoloLens could make an impact mm -hmm. in this problem space. He then puts on his HoloLens and activates his holographic trading tools. Our overarching framework for what we developed we're calling the holographic workstation. It's important for mixed reality computing to address and start to solve some of these information mm. workflow problems that aren't obvious three-dimensional problems or physical space problems. Jason glances up to the top band of his three-tiered holographic display space. He sees and quickly assesses a dynamic 3D visual snapshot of what's happening in the market right now. So we developed this 2D, 3D workstation. So this is a physical structure that integrates 2D screen space with holographic docking space and it builds upon existing city devices and workflows. We continue to have mouse, keyboard input, but also embellishing that with gaze, gesture, and voice input. Jason sees that there is high volume and a cluster of activity in energy. He has an idea for a trade and calls his hedge fund client, AN Energy Client Incorporated. It's organized from top to bottom. All of these different spheres represent different financial mm -hmm. instruments. It's almost like a weather system. Mm -hmm. They can see what's big, what's small, where there's action, where there's nothing happening. Show me my contacts. The voice recognition was really exceeded our expectations for the device. Super accurate, um, even in quite loud environments. Mm -hmm. and. Um, it feels like a very fluid navigation method to kind of sort through this information quickly. Hey Dan, it's Jason from City of New York. Hey Jason. So I'm looking at crude. We're seeing really heavy volume and it's already down 8% on the day. Do you want to take a closer look? Yeah, definitely. All right, great. Let me pull it up for you. Initially we were wondering, well, maybe we should build out everything holographically and I think there's a temptation to, you know, when you have something so innovative to just go and try and re rethink the wheel a little bit. Um, I think where we, we're seeing a lot of success and where we think other developers will also see success is enhancing existing workflows um, where, where there's something that's working well you want to really play to the strengths of the device. And um, that's, that was something we felt super happy with. And it also helps with adoption. Looks promising. What's the backstory here? Crude has been going down every day. We had been told that 3D data won't work. Interestingly, I think that we would all really make the argument that what we are, what we are doing with HoloLens is not 3D data as much as something we might call volumetric data because Traditional 3D data is looking at a 3D data plot on a 2D device, which is completely different right. than looking at 3D data as a 3D object or as a volumetric framework that you're able to interact yeah. with. 